What is going on, guys? The Reaper Chess coming at you. It seems like a lot of people are actually liking my uh, chess content, which I haven't seen much of in a while. I didn't know that a lot of people wanted to see that, or I would have been doing it, because, I mean, I'm slowly getting back in the chess. I thought maybe I would show you this game. I am playing on my buddy's account on chess.com, because he pays for the... Uh, he helps pay for the premium, so I don't have to pay full price and everything. So I get the, we both play on this account. He plays the rated, I play unrated because I don't want to affect his rating. However, we have a good game coming in here by this person. It's, it's still moving. He's from the U.S. He is rated 1728. This is non-rated, of course. Non-rated. And we start off with me with the black pieces. Uh, we're going to go over this game, then we're going to go into the game review and analysis and look at what we could have done better. Right, so we start the game off with a uh, perk defense. Or... King's Indian for the black, I guess you could say it. But there's no pawn on C, so I guess it's considered a perk defense. <clears throat> and this was the whole thing. is Since this dude was a higher rating than what my account was, I had to pay very carefully. That's why my clock was so low. But I was able to easily convert by thinking, right? So we start with this. Right now we already see the first imbalance, right? So the first imbalance is... I tra he has the bishop pair. That's very strong. If anybody knows anything about chess, the bishop pair is fucking phenomenal to have. Um, uh, don't worry, on this other tab up here I have the uh, analysis already pulled up for the game review. Um, and we go down to this game here where I start looking for checks, captures, and attacks, right? Well, I'm going to start taking squares away from his bishops. He let me get this. I don't know why he did, but he did. He let me get that. Now... I played here. I think my idea was to pin this pawn, right? So the pawn's pinned so he can't push and kick my knight. Now here was a was I believe a blunder for white, right? Cuz right here I could have I could right here after this move my whole idea was to conquer this role. The strategy was to conquer this file because his other rooks inactive while all my pieces are active. And I think right around here yeah, right around here I've seen the move knight here, and here's why. My idea, which it isn't, it's not accurate, this is probably a mistake for me. I'm not sure, I will look at the game review, but I go here. The reason was, after bish, uh, after my idea was after bishop takes, I takes, rook takes, I pin the rook, and that was all I knew so far, was that's good. That's a good move. <laughs> I didn't account for him to bring the other rook over, but it still isn't bad for me nonetheless, because his queen has no defending pieces of its own. So we're sitting here. I'm, I threatened to do a double a double rook because he didn't he didn't take right. So because he didn't take, because I was also threatening this, which I forgot to mention, that was part of why I, I didn't actually assume this rook was swinging over was because he'd have to defend this. But I but I threatened here to force the take. I'm going if you don't take my knight, I'm going to dominate the d file with both my rooks, and there's it's just going to be so strong that I'm going to cut half the board in half, and you don't have. But he, you don't have the ability. Your bishop isn't as good as mine. All my pieces are going to be better than yours. So I force him to take. He takes. He takes. I pin. Now, I didn't account for this move here. I just didn't. White's obviously got a better position than this. He's, he's winning. So instead of taking, I go to the side. I was like, we're just going to put pressure on his weakness, his pawn. It's forward. And he moves to defend. Now... I had a really long debate here. I think it was 46 seconds or more, which you can see the times over here. I debated for 46.1 seconds on taking the queen because I had to do a lot of uh, positional strategy here. Do I really want to play someone who's higher, possibly higher rated than me? Because I'm just now coming back to chess. I haven't played in a long, long time, like in years. So just coming back in, I forgot most of everything that I knew. I just know basics. Do I want to play against somebody who's probably been playing a little bit longer now? Probably used to end games. Do I want to go into an end game against him? My idea was no, so I move the queen. But I keep pressure on the pawn. Keep that it's 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 important to keep pressure on this pawn. Now he goes knight here. I see this as an opportunity to if we look here, I'm biting down on granite with this bishop. It's that and my rook are my worst place pieces, but I can't really develop my rook. So the idea was I need to move these pieces with tempo. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab this. And hopefully, he'll play something like this. But he doesn't yet. So now that I've seen he's weak in these files, 
you know? Because when I said coming out with tempo earlier, the idea was here, right? That's good tempo, but it's not, really, because I'm threatening to trade my good piece for his bad piece. So it's like, it's not really tempo, but if I threaten to crack open this side and get on this backward pawn, or just making my active, my rook active, it's, it's, a, it's a good move. He plays here. Now this opens up the file, so now I go bishop here. This solidifies the entire structure here. He cannot move anything because it's bishop. He goes here. So I go here. Attack with tempo. Forces him to go there. Now, he f doesn't understand that his, his queen is still on this file. And my rook eyes it right down. It's defended. So I attack. He trades rooks. And I decide to play here. Now, I could have played here because... I wasn't. I didn't really want to. I wanted to defend this this rook and this pawn. These two right here with my king. So I go here. My idea was go here. If he comes here, I take right. So he goes there. Now I have the phenomenal move because this is a blunder. This is a blunder on his part. A pure blunder. He goes here. Well, what do you see? Queen to b6. Completely winning. There's no way around it. In my eyes, this is completely winning. Because now I'm threatening two things, and either he's going to have to give up. He could have played here, which ideally he should have. But he didn't. And I don't know why he didn't. But that's the blunder. I don't know why he didn't play here. I think he was afraid of me going here next. Because after I go here, he has to kind of take. And then once, I, uh, once he takes, I go check. He takes, I'm still picking up the rook. But this is just bad. I, I still do the same strategy. I'm up a total of a rook. Now here I'm looking for trades. I'm looking for positional movement. So I go here. Maybe he'll bring the queen in, right? This is completely lost for white. There is no way around it. Now, he goes here. So my first instinct is the capture. Now I know there's a check coming because I just loosened up my diagonal. So okay, I'll trade you. He doesn't want to trade. Okay, well, I'll improve my position. Threatening rook here, forking the, the weakness in the king. Well, he defends it. So now I was debating, do I go here and deflect? Or is there a better move? And I think I found this move to be my favorite. Cutting off the king completely. This opens up a line tactic. Still guards here. You can't go here because the queen guards the square. So now he goes here. This doesn't really threaten anything like if my rook was still here it would have but it doesn't this just doesn't work this move does not work after king here he if he takes i take he cannot take the rook he's he's just completely lost so he moves out the way this is a this ends up being a mate in six so he goes there i shoot up i attack the weakness nope I do not take the weakness because we look for the better, best, like the good, better, best moves, right? The three, the three things. And we go for a check. Now we had a choice here. We can go here and trade out the queens, but I, I wanted to add some disrespect to the dude. I wanted to hit him with the rook, and bam, that's checkmate. So positionally speaking, White was winning until he blundered. And that was all it took, was that one move. I positionally was in trouble around this move here. I was in trouble, the computer says. Which I don't really think, I think it's about even. I guess I'm winning by like point one, which is pretty even. Definitely doing that move to pin. Offers the trade. I don't want to trade and trade into the open file, because if I trade, I, I develop I redevelop his queen, I can get his bishop out, like it frees up this this file, and I don't want to do that. I want this file continually contested. This I think was a really good move because it almost it like forces the knight to stay there, so he had to take because his knight was badly placed. This was a, I guess a blunder I'm assuming or a mistake a computer saying, but all right. So we went over this. We we figured out how it happened. Let's go and look at the game review now. So the game review says we played it about eighty percent. That's that's average. Let's start our review. Let's see where it says. So right here. Okay. So this seems like a mistake to me. So what was the best move? 
I did consider this move. I did. I did consider this move. But I felt that uh, development with my knight coming to the center with Temple and the Queen was just better for me. And this was this was a threat, and I addressed that as soon as I could, which was Queen here. I don't know what this move does. Yeah, he should have played that, but he didn't. This allowed my position to get even better. That that is a good move. That one is a decent move. Yeah. Okay. Now this is this ignores an offer to of equal trade of pieces. I guess he was thinking something like this. That would have been a better. Yeah, that would have definitely been better. Your your you let your opponent capture your knife win one here. You. See, I don't know how this works though. So here, okay, this was yeah, getting the pox rolling, the pox, the pawns rolling on the side is a good, good strategy. I don't know why this loses material though. Will it tell me? See, it just assumes that I would go there when I have this move here. If he goes here, I go here. If he goes here, I go here. I got, let's see, I got a bishop and a queen versus a knight and a rook, right? And I'm also attacking this piece. So I don't see how this is bad for me. But the computer says it is, it probably is. Miscalculation on my part. This was a blunder. Why? Let's see why this is a blunder. Why does this game keep ignoring this right here? What, does this happen? No, because then I just win material. I don't understand why it doesn't... I don't understand. Somebody tell me in the comments who's rated over 1,700, please. Um, best, what was the best move? Oh, why though? Why? Take. Oh, and then these two pawns fall. It's not a bad idea. See, this isn't excellent. You win time by threatening a rook, forcing it to move away. Oh, yeah, because you could go here. But then I capture, and then, okay, that's how he wins material. Duh. This is a mistake. So why is it a mistake? Okay. That's a mistake. Only one good move, and you overlooked an opportunity to challenge an opposing rook for the file. What was it, this? Eh. See, the computer sometimes makes these moves that I just don't like. You ignore an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. This move? Yeah, I did, didn't I? I just thought this one was more pressing. It's a great move. <laughs> then all it was was about converting. This allows a force checkmate, you know? Always feels nice to win. Okay. So we've made some, uh, we both made some blunders, me and him both. But at the top of the end game, it sounds like he made the last blunder that sealed the fate of his game. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.